singers were quite tall. Um, <laughs> welcome to our concert. I'm Brenda Day, the Minister of Music here. Uh, it's nice to have you here. Uh, I met um, Todd several years ago when he became the pastor at my parents' church in Northampton, Pennsylvania, and got to know him over the years. Uh, he was uh, wonderful when my parents were ill, and we worked together uh, to plan both of my parents' funerals, and, uh, and I knew at that point how, how musical Todd was, and at one point I said to him, you should come and do a Lenten recital at our church, and here we are. Um, so Todd is not only a bass, as you will hear, but he also plays the trombone beautifully, and I know you will enjoy this recital. Let's welcome Todd. Thank you, Brenda. It is wonderful to be with you on this beautiful day at this very historic church. I realized how historic it is and was and is, but is, uh, when I came to rehearse with Brenda. The generations of the faithful who have come and gone uh, from this place. So much history, and that's a wonderful thing. I was impressed to see in your church uh, website all of the ministries, and but notably the witness uh, to this community and beyond. So keep it up. Uh, the Lenten season is my favorite of the church year. It really is, as it offers for me and I think for all of us new insights and depths to the faith that we claim. This program was designed to offer just that, and I hope you are fed in this hour before we feed our stomachs. I love the text of the first selection. You may know this text with a more familiar melody of the Lenten hymn uh, by the same title, What Wondrous Love Is This? It is God's greatest love gift or offering to the world in the giving of Jesus on the cross for you and for me that we may sing on. What wondrous love is this? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss? the dreadful curse for my soul. To God and to the Lamb I will sing, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb I will sing. To God and to the Lamb the great I am, while millions join the theme, I will sing, I will sing. And when from death I'm free, Thank you. Two weeks ago, my wife Jean and I had the wonderful opportunity to visit friends in Charleston, South Carolina, and visited one of the plantations there, the Boone Plantation. There was given there an amazing presentation by this beautiful Gullah Geechee woman who told the story of slavery here in the United States 
and how the people endured those horrific conditions by the singing of spirituals and songs, melodies that they took with them from Africa. Deep River, popularized by Henry Burley in 1916, has references to the biblical story of Joshua uh, leading, his people, leading God's people to the promised land, but also for the African American, it was rivers, rivers that still exist with deep barriers to freedom, but also the way to heaven for that campground, deep river. If with all your hearts you may know as a tenor solo in the magnificent oratorio Elijah by Felix Mendelssohn, since I'm going to play it on the trombone, I thought I would share the wonderful text. If with all your hearts ye truly seek me, ye shall ever surely find me. Thus saith your God. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might even come before his presence. If with all your hearts ye truly seek me, ye shall ever surely find me. Thus saith. Thank you. 
Handel's Messiah is beloved, not only at Christmas time, but now in this Lenten season. Last Sunday, I sang with about 80 other singers with the Bethlehem Bach Choir excerpts from part two of this magnificent work. He was despised is usually sung by an alto, a contralto, or like last Sunday afternoon, a countertenor. I will sing it now as a bass. It is based, of course, on the suffering of Jesus foretold by Isaiah in chapter 53, five centuries before the coming of Jesus.
Beneath the Cross of Jesus is probably in the top 10 favorites of the Lenten season and perhaps in all of hymnody. Again, since you'll be hearing this melody between Brenda and myself, trombone and organ, I thought I would share the lyrics that you know so well. Beneath the Cross of Jesus, I fain would take my stand, the shadow of a mighty rock within a weary land a home within the wilderness, a rest upon the way, from the burning of the noontide heat and the burden of the day. Upon that cross of Jesus, mine eye at times can see the very dying form of one who suffered there for me. And from my smitten heart with tears, two wonders I confess, the wonders of his glorious love and my own worthlessness. I take, O cross, thy shadow, for my abiding place, I ask no other sunshine than the sunshine of his face, content to let the world go by, to know no gain nor loss, my sinful self, my only shame, my glory, all the cross.
as I thought about Ukraine right now. Back to this beautiful Gullah Geechee woman. At the conclusion of her most stirring presentation, she addressed each section as we sat there. There was a semicircle of us, about 25 people. She addressed each section gathered with eyes and hands with these words. She said, my story, your story, our story, God's story. My story, your story, our story, God's story. I end with this spiritual. There is a balm, B-A-L-M, in Gilead. Jeremiah the prophet asked the question, turned it to a question, is there a balm, B-A-L-M, in Gilead when God's people were crushed in Babylon? We ask today, don't we, is there a balm in Ukraine? Jesus is for us Christian people, the great physician who heals the sin-sick soul. There is a balm in Gilead. Oh.
so much for coming. Um, I'm so glad that uh, Todd brought Ukraine into this at the end because I realized I had forgotten to mention that this is also a, mm -hmm. a benefit mm -hmm. for the people in Ukraine, right. and I thought it all, wow. when you mentioned that, it came Perfect. full circle. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for coming and hope to see you next week. Thank you. Thank you to Todd. Yes. And happy Easter. Thank God for new life, right? Golly. Thank you.